like me and like to do a little gambling on your vacation, then welcome to Tampa Bay Downs. It's a beautiful day for the races, so come on in with me and let's check it out. I just got pixie fied, pixie dusted. <laughs> All right, I'm about to try one of these Dragon Balls. Oh, oh look at this, she is yeah! good! Okay, this race just started. I came in without even seeing the program. Statistically, fives and sevens win the most here. So I took $2 on each of those horses to win. Let's go look at this race and see what happens. Come on, Fort Here they come. I had no idea what that was. Well, the number five came in second, so I was kind of close. Number four came in first, and uh, I don't know where seven was. Well, actually, seven was fourth, so not knowing anything, I was close, but you don't win for close. I'm gonna go find a program now. So the Tampa Bay Downs opened in 1917. So here at the Downs, you can see the history of the track. It used to be called Sunshine Park back in 1957. Program at a track. It tells you the name of the race, the number of the race, horses, the odds going in, but those odds will change. Here's the name of the horse. Underneath that will tell you the jockey. I happen to know which jockeys are good here. Then if you go over here, it will tell you how many races this horse has raced in a lifetime. And out of that, how many has come in first, second, and third. And then it'll tell you just in last year or this year, depending on what year they have listed, and so on. And so you kind of can use this uh, with a gauge on how well the horse is doing. If you want to just bet on the name because you like the name, you can do that too. So I came up to the second level because this happens to be my favorite place to see the races. I just think you can get a better overall look of the horses as they come around. Um, you can only pay $2 for a seat up here and you have access to the television and everything else. And it's an, actually a fun day, especially if it's not too hot outside. Today happens to be a gorgeous day. So after looking at that race program that I showed you, oh wait, the horses are coming out. Let me show you the horses. The way I bet this time is I have a friend who says statistically number five and number seven of this track win the most. So that's why when I came in, I bet on the five and seven. I came to find out, I looked at results. I looked at the results for today and found out that five has not come in yet. So according to the system he taught me, you bet on five first to win and then when it finally wins and you switch to seven. So I bet number five to win in this next race. The other thing that I did is, and I only do two hour bets. I just like coming here to hang out and enjoy the weather, watch the horses and be, invo be involved in the action, but I'm not a big gambler. So the other thing that I did is you can do an exact a box. What that means is you're picking the horse that's coming in first and second and you're flipping it. So in other words, I picked four and seven. So four has to come in first and seven has to come in second, but they can also come in seven, four and because I did a $1 box, that means the entire bet is only $2. So let's say it does come in and someone who paid the full price, which would have been $2 for each way, and that would have been a $4 bet, they will win the full pot. Let's say it's $100. It's usually not that high unless it's a long horse, but let's just say 100. They would win the full $100 because they bet the full two for each direction. Because I did a $1 exact box and my bet was only a total of $2, I would only get half of that. So even if I win $50 or even $20, it's more than the $2 I paid. So I call that winning. So that's how I bet. Six. I'm pretty sure that was number 
number six. I didn't bet on number six. So I'm only on $4. That's actually moved up to a front box because lots of people have already left for the day. The cool thing is you get your own TV screen so you can keep up to see how many minutes to post and you can see what the odds are currently at. So I bet on the number two horse, it's nine to two odds. That means I'm not winning any money. did come in but in the wrong order. I needed the 10 to be first and the 2 to be second or vice versa but I think they were second and third instead. The board will tell me so I second. take it. I took the number two horse to show so it needed to come in second place. It came in third place. If I had taken that same number horse to show for my two dollars I would have won two dollars and eighty cents so I would only made eighty cents. Then the exacta I took the 10 and the 2. Had I taken the 10 and the 4 I would have won half of the $58 pot, right? I'm going home now. <laughs> My day is over. But I just wanted to show you guys uh, what a day at the Tampa Bay Downs looks like. Lots of times there's a Groupon where you can get a full day of racing for only $9. And lots of times you can use a coupon code to get it even down to like eight. And it includes one bed of $2, a $5 food voucher, valet parking, and your program and your entry fee. So it's a really good deal and it's usually like $8 because usually it's $2 just to walk in the door and $2 for a program. So then for you know an extra four bucks, you're getting a $2 bet and then $5 voucher to eat. So it's a, it's a good deal. And then valet parking, which is always nice. Thank you for tuning into the wonderful world of Wendy. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button below. Give me a thumbs up and I'll see you next time. Bye.